So what's good, homies? This is Small Hat Chris with the Small Hat Crew. Joined today with Small Hat Nick and our Dofi player of the hour. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself, my main man. <laughs> yeah, my name is my name is Kiko Alvarado. Well, my name is Juan, but everybody knows me as Kiko from Houston, Texas. I was wondering if that was your real name. I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, Okay. I'll tell you my nickname. Tell so, my middle name. So we all know why you're here. But for the people watching back home that might not know, uh, let, let them know what what you did to, you know, earn this this clout that you got right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I still I still can't believe it. Like it's still unreal to me. But I definitely definitely hit the dream was winning winning a offline regional with Del Flamingo. So. Yeah, when you were like, when you're like thinking about what you want, I was like, my, God, he don't even know what he won. <laughs> yeah, Dad, I was just still in real. Like, I was okay, crazy. So you're also still at Gen Con and probably tired if you played in other events. Yeah, and he yeah, does I, did, too. I, I definitely played yesterday and uh, I was extremely tired. Yeah. 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 No, our guy, one of my, we played against one of our friends, Trevor. He played. Oh, I told him already, he also, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He did the same thing. They went next three drop because they were just fucking tired from uh, <laughs> the regional. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, you won it all. Trevor got fourth, but you you won everything. And um, yeah. So I guess I guess if it isn't immediately obvious, uh, our man Kiko here is the Dofi that won the whole event. Uh, Dofi in North America winning events just doesn't really doesn't it doesn't happen. So um, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna talk about all the obvious stuff you expect to, but we won't be uptight about it and like strict and all that. So, all right, are are you just a Dofi main, or was that a medical, or like what was that? Nah, I've been. Uh, you'd be shockingly surprised uh, how I decided to play this deck, but oh. I did. Uh, I did main. I did main Dofi since set one. Okay. I started That's like towards the like last week of set one is when I started playing the card game. Like this is my first card game ever, so. <sighs> I was like I like the color, I like the anime, it's like I like the character, that's, that's why I picked them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Played so, it. you go for it. Red two. I was like, nah, not feeling it. Don't like red. Just I can't. I can't pilot it. It's just too. What do you mean? What? <laughs> it's weird. Like, like people say, people I, think I it's so it. easy, but it's so mic. Like, there's so many micro decisions with Zoro that it's like one little thing could like. Oh my you god. Can keep yourself in the oh my. Like, when you were oh, saying oh, red, I was like, I guess. And, but then you said Zoro, and now you lost me. It's. <laughs> no, but. Nah, I mean, like. You're right, though. You guys, I when yeah. I try to play Whitebeard, as playing. Yeah, it's like you got you got these guys just topping all the time with red, and it's like. Yeah. Like, they've perfected that skill, and it's like. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's what I did with Dofi, and just kept with on with it and yeah. a lot of thinking yeah i mean because i know because nick's also a dofi main he got top 16 at treasure cup miami with it and um nice. i know nick, didn't you say like uh do you think like a lot of people think dofi's more complicated than it really is it's just like handy. yeah no people yeah it's like like let me ask you do you blind fire if you don't see like you mulligan you don't see pronos you don't see three drops i'm not hard playing four drops from hand I just swing in blind fire. Do you do the same or do you do differently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you watched any of my games, but I bricked like three or four games <laughs> and I was just I was just praying on hitting it. There was a, there was actually one round, I think it was like round what round was it? I think it was my first round on stream and I think I whiffed like four times on my leader effect, but every time I whiffed on my leader effect, like the first one, I was gonna go into turn seven next turn. So I did the effect, the card that comes out was three sword style and I was like, perfect. I was like, I need that next turn anyway. I didn't get body down, but like, that's the card I need. Like I need that card. Happen again, that same turn I used the 3000 and then I try it again. I was like, damn, I was like, I'm bricked. I don't have a Mihawk. Like I'm screwed if I don't see one. I leader effect and it was Mihawk. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is crazy. I was like, I can't believe it. I'm just like, get, like I'm not, yeah, so yeah. Okay, so you put, you'll put the 2k Mihawks on board because that's another thing I want to ask about because you only play four 2k counters like I play the full 12 right now with Mihawk, Kaya's, and you only Alpitas. play four 2k's? yeah uh, uh, do you value just love love and gum gum rain more? because uh, I always find myself tapped out with blue so I'm just curious how you feel about that um 
the love honestly love love was the mvp of the whole thing honestly like i i, I used to play only like i took it off all the way then i brought it back to like two then i kept going down to one and then for this one i was just like i have a a homie who i was talking to and he's like love love is the best car he's like if you use it it's been like he pretty much like explained to me how he used it and i was like man like that makes sense i was like that that could totally help and work out especially with the white beard matchup the white beard matchup is so that if I you can survive for... oh yeah go for it and game if over like if you can survive end games and all these crazy swings and you just like math it out right like you you just whittle them down and try to get as much like hand that you just try to whittle their hand down and then just i mean that's my also my preference of play style like i i'm very defensive and like i i just try to wait for the right time to like swing and go for game but i i don't play my 2k mihawks like i that's like the one card I'd... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no fucking you way. You want the leader. <laughs> no, yeah. There's no way that's when what you put on the board. You were, I was gonna say, when you said you were hitting with Dofi leader and wanted to see Mihawk, I couldn't tell if you were talking about 4-drop or 9-drop. Oh, no, it was a 9-drop, yeah, because I, I did it on my 7-dawn turn, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to 9-dawn. I need to see a Mihawk, or I need to see something. Like, I need a body, something. And when I did it, I whipped, but it was a 9-drop, and I was like, perfect. And it's like, that game was just like, every time my leader affected... I whiffed, I, I whiffed like four times, but I was like, I'm literally seeing what, like, I'm going to top deck exactly what I need to so try the, to pinch right. this off. So you mentioned that, like, Love Love was MVP, and I'm trying to find your list right now. I don't remember. I think you ran three, though. Oh, I have it. Yeah, what, you did oh, run three. Yeah, share that real quick, so I guess so we can actually look at it while we... <laughs> yeah, I ran three, Love Love. Would you up it, or is it still, you think three's like that right number, that sweet spot? I think three is... I think three is a sweet spot, honestly. Yeah, I put it in small chat for you. It's in small chat. Yeah, three, three is for sure the sweet spot. And how do you feel about Gum Gum Rain? Because I know, like, I would pitch oh the my God. the nine yeah. drop no, with so it. So but... what I really want to know is the one teach. How, how do you feel about that? I love it. Specifically, I, like I, that one, you wouldn't up it or anything. <laughs> I wouldn't up it. No, I wouldn't go up. I wouldn't go down. I'm gonna keep it a one. Cause you like, let's say that you have games where you don't want to see it. Because it's like, it does nothing for you, but there's games when you want, I mean, it comes up, it's it's all it, it's all RNG, but at the same time, right. when you see your Peronas and you see your Dofies and you're actually, you should be able to at some point see it, unless it's like at the bottom, and then you're like, yeah, like, I'm not going to see it all game. Yeah, I guess also, it's like, this is one of the few colors, too, where like, um, you could always just pitch the teacher counter, pick it up later if you really need it, so it's not. Exactly. Now, I do want to touch on, like, one thing that I think, because there's a lot of people that are, like, I guess, like, mainly concerned with budget and all that, so there's a big debate about whether or not you really need promo Jimbe. What is your stance on that? Because you ran three. Uh, I don't know. I think it's crazy. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's insane that if you try to run... I mean, you can you play a Dofi deck without it? Yeah, but... I definitely do think it's a must, like at least minimum two. Like I, there's, a, there's, I got homies who run at a two, and I'm, I'm pretty sure my homie from Houston, he, he got eleventh, and he runs two. And I mean, it worked for him, but at least two, I wouldn't go to four. I think three is a sweet spot, but two at, at the least. One thing I also found really interesting is because um. You play four uh, Kuma blocker, but you only play two Pacifista. Um, so I play, I play three. You play three? Wait a minute. Oh, it's very hard to see on the picture, but yes. Oh, there okay. Three there's there. three. Never mind. Okay, I was like, are you just hoping to high roll, or do you just mainly want Kuma for the body, just a blocker? And if you happen to have the the Pacifista, yeah. then yeah, the, yeah. The, the same way about Jinbei, there's three of. There's also three vanilla geckos, right? Three of the vanilla six. Yeah, three vanilla geckos. Yeah, that's okay, the, those that's are that's great controversy the controversy there. Right Everybody, yeah, was... everybody wants four. Yeah. No, because even like before you joined the chat, me and Chris would all know that I have my Dofi deck in front of me. We have like a yeah. five card difference, and one of the five cards is the Gecko. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to sit here and think about it. What is the rest like the Love Loves, I assume? Yep, yeah, the Love Loves and the Gum Gum Ring. How do you feel about one drop Love Locker? Because you only play two. You think he's like. I used to love, I used to love that card so much. It was, it's just. Now it's just. It's either bait or the only my only reason behind like I have I, I wanted to at least have one was uh 
Big playing against yellow. yellow. Yeah. yeah. Bigger yellow. And that's one of our worst matchups. And I actually had a game where I cycled my, uh, yesterday at for the Treasure Cup, I had a game where I cycled that one drop three times, like three turns in a row from uh, Geckos from Leader Effect. And it was like, he's like, bro, he's like, you're just, I'm just blocking his seven swing every turn with that one drop law blocker because I keep breaking them back. Yeah. Um, okay, so I do have one uh, also interesting question. Um, so your pacifistas, I noticed that you're running uh, super pre-releases. Was that a meta call? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh. 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's makes it more likely for you to see them when you need them, you know, because they cost more yeah, money, know. so obviously they're yeah. better. But, uh, so we know yeah. you went undefeated at the regional. Do you, did you take down what your matches were against? Did you play a lot of yellow, or was it mostly red? Uh, I played absolutely all red all day. You played all red all day? So you dodged yellow all, just all day long, didn't hit a single Katakuri? Didn't hit a single Katakuri. Oh. I did play ideal I, I played... situation. <laughs> I played two cats yesterday, but and uh, I beat both. I beat both category players yesterday as well. But I mean, like my my no um, law either. Uh, I played law round one. Yeah, on um, regional. Yeah, that was round one. And Teach came up. Right, it was round one. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Hard played Nico. Hard played Nico. I had Teach in order. I was like, next turn, Nico, uh, Teach bounce Nico Robin. It's like. Perfect. Um. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of their turn is just setting up that Nico Robin, so it, it like it's a big tempo swing. I, I can see that it's just seeing the one of. I was yeah, say I still like, oh, oh yeah, go for it. A lot of people, a lot of people. I don't, I don't see why this set. I don't think a lot is that like massive of a. Like I don't think you're. Oh, you're about to a lot. real controversial opinion. <laughs> So say yeah. law is still meta, <laughs> uh, but it's starting to get people are starting. You know, people who play red already realizing, oh, you know, Firefist just blows this deck out. Yeah, it does. So. Yeah, but just law. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard matchup, but like I've I've played so many games against that deck at this point, so it's like you just know it inside out. Yeah, it's like I. It's like I don't know. I feel like it. it once you learn how to play Dofi and and. The most important thing is learning your matchups. I mean, that's every deck, but with Dofi, like if you learn the ins and outs, like of every single, most of these red decks have like, like an order they follow. Right. They like have to do. Chart. They do this every single turn, mm -hmm. and it's like, and if you can build and play around what they're gonna do, it's like it, it takes a lot of weight off your shoulder. Like, so you're not just like look at you. You sit down, look at a law. You're like, damn, I'm gonna lose. Like, yeah. So I guess because like, because that's law, and for the most part, and you said you played red all day, and if you're gonna like do yeah. well at a like a large scale event, you have to be able to do the three matchups. So, um, you said you played yeah. red all day. You still won, of course. So obviously, you won against your red matchups. But how do you feel about the white beard and the zero matchups specifically? Um, are they favored or Zoro? Zoro is a little tough now, especially if they um. Well, it depends what list they're playing. If they're, pl if they're playing, like, the one-drop, not event. Yeah, creature. Zoro, it's, like, a little easier. But the, uh... The oh, yeah, fire, fire fist, fist just takes out any of your seven warlords plus your blocker Dofi. Yeah, the fire fist massive is massive tempo swing. Yeah. It's ins like, I got, a uh, My round two... Because round one was Law. Round two was Zoro. Was, he was a Zoro player. And I got fire fisted twice. And... It, it, it got it got pretty rough and then towards the end i was like able to just like do my thing where i just like play blockers have my love loves in hand i was like i just gotta wait for him to run out of gas and then like that's when i start going like start slowly going in and i mean that's all it takes bro but you got if zoro, yeah if zoro gains tempo and they just fire fist you but they also have a bunch of rushers in hand to where next turn they're just gonna start swinging at you yeah it's hard yeah because i was but, gonna say if you got fire fisted twice and you still won that then you you deserve that one because <laughs> yeah it was, i don't know how you come back from that my my i think i think the biggest thing about piloting dofi is like knowing when to take life like that's what i tell a lot of people is like knowing when to take your life and knowing when to counter and like just so you so you always have enough counter because like when 
if you're a dopey player and you run out of counter in hand, yeah. it's so easy for them to kill you. Like, it's so easy for your opponent, especially if they have bodies that are going to start swinging with their... If it's yellow, they're going to start swinging with their puddings. They're going to start swinging. Like, you're you're done for. But you just always got to have, like, that counter. Like, a lot of people will just take the life. So I'm, I'm very big on, like, I'm going to save my... Against red, I'll save my life yeah. until, like... I, nine dawn turn seven dawn turn is when i'll start taking life just because i'm just adding counter to my hand yeah is that one of those matchups where like um where like you you wait till like you're a good one or two life ahead before you're comfortable taking it pretty much red yeah yeah you know with white beard once they go down to three is when i'll start taking life when you won the whole thing was it one of those ones where you went undefeated or were you like x1 x1 with the better tiebreaker no, I went undefeated. You went undefeated? Oh my god. But dope, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> that is yeah, so I played, crazy. Um, it was... So my matchups were... It was Law, Zoro, and then I played six Whitebeards in a row. Because once I got to the... Uh, once, <laughs> once I got to the top table, like, to the top table... Yeah. It was all red. Like, it was literally all white beards, all Zoros. And I think there was one Magellan, like, holding out the whole time. He like, he got pretty far as well. <laughs> yeah, because he was sitting next to me at one point, And I was like, damn, I was like, this is me. It's me, you, and then my other friend, um, or my homie from Houston, he was playing Dopey, too. It was just us three and the rest of, like, that, like, I think. Yeah, no, this, like, uh, they almost did well. fucking nothing. So, if you um, win. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, so if you went undefeated and you won six straight Whitebeard games and that sounds like for the most part Dopey just beats Whitebeard in your opinion then? Mm, there's ways out of it and there was people they're like like a lot of my uh, Whitebeard matches like they came up to me and like they're just like asking for like tips like well, like what do you like could I ki have killed you if I would have done this or differently and I was like I tell them like nah probably not that way it's like well what do you think would like be the right play or right call to like mm -hmm. yeah counter Dofi a little more and I was like Ace is their strongest card against it exactly that's what I told them I said I was like y'all are uh y'all are wasting a whole turn playing against blue y'all are wasting an entire turn playing thatch I said and three of the white beard players I played against three or four of them uh they did it and they played the thatch next turn I played my Mihawk and wow. I just bottom deck the thatch leave the ace up there because I have I mean I'm not worried about ace anymore because he does his job as soon as it gets played after that he's only a 7k body and it's like as long as i have the counter for that 7k body i don't care yeah it's no if i get a second mihawk yeah i'm gonna bottom deck that the, the ace as well but i mean for the most part it's like they waste like y'all or like y'all are wasting a turn on thatch against blue and it's like you yeah no that makes sense y'all get the, he's gonna disappear and y'all are gonna get no swing now y'all lost a turn and i mean yeah I, yeah, no, I agree. A lot of them were kind of, that's where that's where a lot of them started swinging with with their uh, with their Nami's and they started swinging with like they started adding Dawn that next the following turn after by Mihawk Thatch. It's like okay, like they're like, what do we do? Yeah, no, I agree. Now that I don't have to my whole board. Because I remember in OPO two, uh, I remember in OPO two when like Luffy started popping off and winning. I remember. And they like start running Ben Beckman. That was one of the things that like I had to learn going to the Dopey matchup was not putting Ben Beckman yep. on the board because because exactly. like you just discard it for counter whenever because if that thing hits the board, and that's when like the uh, Dopey like seven drop was still seen play. So either it was getting bounced to your hand or it's getting Mihawk to the bottom. It was like you just lost a exactly. whole turn and you don't come back from that really in that matchup. Yeah, you, uh, exactly. It's it's just it's so bad. Um, yeah. You said Love Love was MVP. Uh, is that? Do you think feel like any card underperformed, or like, is there any change you would have made to this deck after the fact, or did, are you just happy with this exact fifty card combination? Uh, I personally, right, as of right now, I don't think I would switch a single card in my deck. If anything, I, I like, I'll go back and forth in my head. And I'm like, I, I just can't, I can't do it. Like, I, I think I would leave it at this. For now, it's just a, like like it's all meta calls on what people do now, because now it's gonna be more ace. Because yesterday it actually had like a lot of the a lot of my white beer matchups that came up to me like or two of them came up to me like yeah I played ace instead and it's like work. I was like yeah I played two guys who did that did a double ace turn instead of the fast turn and they got like they got me. 
off of that. I didn't expect. I was still expecting like the whole batch thing. Yeah. Like, but in my head, I'm like, I was like, damn. These guys talk to each other and like find out what I told them and this and that. I was like, oh man. I was like, maybe it's like maybe I should wait. Like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so you wouldn't make any changes to it right now. Now, September's right around the corner, and we're coming up on OPO4. So, like, come OPO4, uh, are there any changes you would make? Like, I'm assuming maybe Red Rock? If you were to run Red Rock, oh, yeah. what do you think you cut for it? Yeah, for sure. Like, come yeah, the Ram guessing or Definitely. something? Um, Red Rock. Yeah, how many copies do you think you'd run, and what would you... Because I imagine, like, come OPO4, it's probably going to be a minute, if ever, we end up talking to you again. So, may as well figure that out. So, Red Rock... Yeah. Red Rock is is thick. Six. Is a thick yeah, size. Six plus bottom deck anything. anything. Yeah. I'd say that'd be. I would say a two of at most. You know, I agree. Yeah. I'd probably play two three thousand worlds to Red Rocks. Replace one three thousand worlds in the one rain. Yeah, I think I would just run two Red Rock, and depending, like I don't, I haven't really looked too much into what bodies, like let's say, like the purple green Delphi play. Right. Right. Like, like, cause three thousand. I don't know. If three thousand worlds really makes an effect in that matchup. I don't really. I don't think so. I mean, Gilded to Sorrow and uh, like. It's pretty good matchup. It gets That's rid of the their blocker. Search Nami and stuff. Okay, then yeah, I would say I don't know. I'll, I'll probably end up trying it out first. I I'll probably run three three thousand and two Red Rock. But then, what to cut? I like maybe I'll go down to maybe I'll go down to like two Love Lows. You I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, mm, maybe, mm, maybe I will. Maybe I would. The rain is so. The the rain came up so clutch during that whole tournament for me. It was. I don't know. I, I, I love that card. Yeah. <laughs> cause there's, like I'm very, like my first Perona. There was there was two games where I saw rain in my first Perona. And I just kept putting that at the bottom. I was like, I'm going to need this later. I'm going to need this later. Because Love Love Mellow into drawing Gum Gum Rain into still having life. And I was like, okay, so if I get a brick out of life, that's my pitch for this Gum Gum Rain. I was like, you're bound to at some point get a brick where you have no, it's like a no counter card. Yeah. And for the most part, I, I want to save it towards the end. And there were so many times. It was definitely like, I think it was three matchups because i was on i was so nervous like i was on stream like seven games in a row i was like dying i was like my chest started hurting round <laughs> eight and i was like oh. <laughs> like this is insane i, was, like, I can't believe this yeah i mean it also makes sense because like i mentioned it earlier but like i don't know because you could always just pitch something off the rain and then pick it right back up with the gecko again like i don't know yeah that's just a privilege so many colors don't have like you can yeah, yeah. Uh, like, having this card interaction is one of the best the gecko I mean, off the ability of, to grab a 2 a is such a cute deck. play. Is there anything that, like you... that Oh yeah, go for it, my bad. <laughs> no, say like that Gecko Moria, y'all are talking about, yeah, that, that card is probably the one, top three best cards in the deck. Like, that card's too good. Yeah, it's just good that he got his all art finally. Um, is there anything that you feel like yeah. other dopey players out there are doing wrong, or any advice you have, or anything at all for people watching? Uh, as far as other selfie players doing stuff wrong, I don't, I personally don't think so. It's just your, I just feel like Dolphy is a deck that's very, you gotta make it, you can build that deck around your, your play style. Like that's, it's like everybody has their preference on how they want to run Dolphy and if that preference is to the way that you like to play the deck, I think it's like, I think if you're if you're doing something wrong with Dofi is if you're playing the deck forcefully to a, like play like someone else like you're gonna try to do what they do with it but you played it completely different before and it's like just follow what is comfortable with you because all you gotta do is like follow what's comfortable with your Do with your Dofi list and learn your matchups like the biggest thing with Dofi is like learn the ins and outs of all of your matchups and you should be fine yeah i know right now like blue crocodile players are running that centamaru package yeah how, how, how do you yeah. feel about like that being put into dopey in opo3 do you think there's ever a reality where you can get away with it or do you think that's like pipe dream 
Uh, I def I don't think I don't think you can get <laughs> not in Delphi. Yeah, it's too. You're just adding more bricks in your hand, especially like like uh, y'all said. Y'all were talking about. Do you ever just try to gamble in leader effect? Like, you know how many times you could putting more pacifistas in your deck and Senamaru is like, if I see a Senamaru, I'm gonna be pretty upset. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't need that card next turn. Like, that's uh, doing nothing for me. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna put a pacifist down with it, but let's say now I just wasted a turn doing that and I'm playing Zoro. Cool, they're about to fire fist me. They're about to Otama fire fist me. Now that whole turn is gone. Like, nah. Think about how intimidated the opponent would be when they see you whip on Dofi and they see the power of Suntamaru that's coming up next turn. Yeah, they just scoop right there, right? It's, it's over. Yeah. Like, he got so the they draw a fire fist and buggy, <laughs> and, and then it's like, yeah. Yeah, they're like, that. they're like, like oh, man. explain that? <laughs> this yeah. is free. Yeah. Yeah, like, game over. Um, Nick, you're the dopey players. Is there, is there like, anything that, uh... No, I'm gonna ask a lot of questions I want. No. Like, I, well, actually, how do you feel about four nine drop Mihawks? Is it necessary? Oh, that's that's a that's a mandatory. That's a <laughs> I think that is one hundred percent mandatory. That's your only big body. Yeah. Like other than that, you got pacifistas and geckos. But I mean, a lot of the time you get one. Yeah, they're easier to save. But if you're once again, we run into the color that we're gonna run into eighty yeah. percent of the time. Yeah. You run into them, they either got ace to reduce it, you're not gonna save it, or they got... Yeah. Which is another reason why I think Love Love is such a clutch card. Because if it's towards the end game, and you're able to afford to leave two up, and you know you have, like, let's say I have a Gecko and a Pacifista, and they're both tapped. I know I, I, they play an ace, and they only have an ace swing and a leader swing. And if your hand's decent, you might be able to save both of those cards with Love Love. You know, yeah, that makes sense. I was just about to say, though, like, that's my biggest problem with four Mihawks is the turn I play Mihawk, Love Love is dead in my hand. And well, I just, I, I hate having no counter card, essentially, in hand, because there's technically 13 you, cards in the deck that have no counter power, which isn't And I'm like, I'm right there with hits. you. Oh, I, I have... agree. Like, I totally agreed with you. Like, I was, that was my exact thought before going into playing this deck. Like, I was just, like, I was just staring at it the night before, and I was like, like, I don't know if I can play three love loves just because of that exact reason. But I was like, but I... my friend I was talking to, he pretty much like, you don't, it's like, you save the love loves for end game. Like yeah. that, that's your, that's your survival. That's, this is like after Mihawk type thing. Right. And when you use it that way, it's like a bad, that's why I call love love MVP. Cause if it wasn't for love love. I, there's no way I would have survived. Like I was count, I was able to counter so many white attacks from Whitebeard, from like Zoro in general, or like that unblockable Luffy. If I have a love, yeah. look, I have love, love going in. Like think about it like this: you're guaranteeing if they want to play this Luffy and swing at you for twelve next turn, you're blocking that no matter what with love, love and Go Go Marine together at the end. Cause you're gonna draw off that love love if you have the love love and the gum gum rain you're that takes you that puts you at 12 already you need one card to counter that and now they wasted that whole last turn and they have a zoro leader attack left and i mean if you're taking life properly if you're keeping counter in your hand properly you you will be able to survive then the same thing goes with white beard you know that makes sense um yeah. on the topic of counter events yeah. then um Cause like when, when like Nick was talking about not being able to like play Love Love on a Mihawk turn, um, cause that made me think about like lower events. I noticed, uh, cause like your only stackers are Perona and Dofi Blocker. I noticed you don't play Spada at all. You also don't play the one drop Dofi. Um, what's your opinion on those cards? How do you feel about them? And is there like a reason why? Spada, Spada, I love. I spent one Spada was amazing. I actually played Spada set one. I also played Overheat, which was like another controversial oh. thing, set one, but I was like, if I get this off the trigger, I'm bouncing your Nico Robbins back, so I was like, yeah, it's too, it's too good to me, and <laughs> I gotta play it. The so, Hyrule yeah, trigger? I was, yeah, I was running like, it, it, my set one list was weird, it was crazy. I mean, it, I didn't 
any of the big events because I couldn't, like I didn't get into any. But I mean, I was doing pretty well with that. But set two, obviously, I had to change it all up. Yeah. But Spada, so, Spada is Spada. I think is, eh, it's it's okay. You gotta leave another, an extra. I mean, if you have Love Love, and then you have a Spada in hand, that that's leaving three Don up. Like there's so many times where you gotta do your math, and that one Don makes a massive difference for you to like swing with. I like, have so many times I just swing for six, like with Dofi, even if it's not at White Beard. Like I'll just swing six. I'll swing six with whatever or like on my let's say like i think i was forced to go second at four or five times that day <laughs> and Wait. there were so many times yeah it was insane but um i don't know just I'll, yeah go for it spot is, yeah spot up now it's a little too clunky that makes sense. but that one drop i liked it at first set two and then i came to like hate the car and I was like nah I don't want to play this anymore like, this... okay alright that's what I was about to ask about cause I was gonna say like cause I would think OPO3 with like two of our top decks being Zoro and Law you would think if there was ever a time that card would be good it would be now so that's why I was so curious to hear it, take it costs too much to save it and you're gonna get one yeah. swing with it like it's oh yeah, yeah and then it takes a discard out your hand too yeah then yeah. you're that, that, you're like going against that's something complete. I, I completely would say like that. You're going against the way of playing Dovey. Like you, you don't want to trash cards for man. That makes sense. Um. Well, I guess because I don't have any more questions. That's kind of it for me. You know, you good? Yeah. Uh, is Pokemon Coliseum your favorite Pokemon game? Oh, uh, I don't know. I was a big uh, Game Boy Color fan. I would, I would probably say uh, Soul Silver is probably my favorite Pokemon game. Valid. I was wondering because the SVR and Umbreon pins, those are your starters in Coliseum. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, yeah. that's my Umbreon, <laughs> that's my guy. The only that's thing the I was looking at. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, y'all ready to hear uh, how I decided to play Dofamingo? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's my little Umbreon dice. I, I, I rolled <laughs> dice to, uh, <laughs> I had three, I had three decks. It's Luchi, Law, and Dofi. So I put a little letter, I put a letter for Law, I put the D for Dofi, and Lu LU for Luchi. I put one, if I roll a one or a two, I'm gonna play Law. If I roll a three or a four, I'm gonna play Dofi. If I roll a five or a six, I'm playing Luchi. I'm like, whichever one of these decks gets three little tally marks first, that's what I'm playing. And it came up Dopey, and yeah. that's why I ended up playing Dopey. Oh yeah, yeah that was the dice. Meta call. That was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, I have one more question then. So, like, because you said you haven't really looked into OPO4 yet, um, have you like even a little like to know whether or not you think you'll keep oh, yeah. playing Dopey and OPO4? Um, oh, I'm, I'll probably, I'm gonna play Dopey no matter what. Like, I'm gonna okay. always have to. Go, like, I, I have. Is it blue Dopey or green Dope. purple Dopey? No, I'd play blue Dopey. Hell yeah. But, like, I didn't play, before I played Dofi on Thursday, I think it was like a, for like a month before I touched the deck. Like, I haven't touched Dofi in like a month. I hadn't played it in set three almost, like none. But I mean, I ran it all set two. I knew my matchup, I knew the matchups just because of, I played Luchi yeah. for the most part. And I mean, learning what they do and then just having both i don't know it's like that's my set one deck so it's like riding the bike i can pick that deck up right 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 yeah I I that's where you're going with that um but i do plan on playing rebecca but like if i if i want to the deck i'm going to start playing set four just because it's new I'll, i'm for sure going to try out rebecca for a little bit but i will okay. have blue dopey built Okay, uh, so as we kind of had you on the defense answering our questions up to this point, um, I guess before we wrap it up, anything that like you want to say, anybody you want to shout out or anything at all before yeah, we close I mean, it? I mean, for the most part, it's just, just, the, just my squad, my, all the homies from Houston, just Mystic TCG and um, Team Dogwater, just, just the homies from Houston, that's it. All right. All, um, all supporting me 
texted me. I don't know if y'all if I don't know if y'all saw the uh <laughs> there was a rap, there was a game where I thought I lost and um, we had to go back to like the tape and the dude I thought swung for 19 it was actually cuz I swung for 17 yeah and he counted out the cards and it came out tonight and he said 19 I was like oh, yeah you got it oh, so I dabbed okay. up he said the win <laughs> and then I, everybody from Houston like everybody from Houston was calling me I was like cuz me and him were talking I was like, my phone just keeps blowing, and so I go and answer, and I was like, no, nah. it's like, hey, bro, check the tape. He, that was 17-17, you won that game, and I was like, what? So we go back, and luckily the guy I was playing is a homie, like, he's one of the homies, and um, he just, yeah, he reversed it and kept going from there. Yeah, that's a good thing you actually, like, Recording pay attention to your, your, yeah. your phone notifications, too, and all that, because, like, because you, you're real responsive, you're real easy to get a hold of, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean everybody yeah. who came up to me, I'm like I don't, I don't mind talking to everybody. Like it's it's cool with me. Everybody's cool. Everybody was super cool and humble that I spoke did to. You, so, did you crack your cereal, Luffy, or did you keep it sealed? Oh yeah, I cracked it. it. Oh what? Yeah, well, what number did you get? Six forty six. Hey, it's not bad. Yeah, that's that's actually the street we live on. It back at home, so oh that's I was like that. Oh that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess won't keep you much longer. If, if that's it, then I'll let you go. You're already, you're in the Discord, so if you ever want to reach out, you know how to get to us, but, uh... Yeah, yeah everyone no to test as well. There's a lot of people here hanging out ready to go whenever. But Yeah, yeah I'm always everyone. testing myself, so I mean, I'll be down. Y'all just hit, same goes with y'all, Joe. Anytime y'all have questions or ideas, and y'all want to just talk about stuff like that, I'm always down. Oh, yeah. Just hit me up. Oh. Thank you for coming on, man. Like, genuinely appreciate it. Cause no problem. I know you're off to a con or whatever, and uh, you didn't have to be here right now. I mean, but you want to be. Right no, you're now, good. I mean, you know, we're, we're the people, but. <laughs> hey, okay. shout out, shout out to the loop. The, my final, the final dude I played, that guy right there. If it was like, I was so nervous. That guy, I forget, I forget his name, but the, but the <laughs> same place, shout player. Shout out, man. I forgot. <laughs> hey. That, he was like, bro, he's like, I don't know why you're so nervous. He was, playing, he was being so cool. I was like, bro, I'm going to fucking lose this last round. I was like, I'm shaking. I'm just like, feel like puking. And I was like, I don't feel good right now. And if it was like, he's like, bro, just. Oh, yeah, the nerves are real. Yeah, he's like, just take it. Just take it all in, bro. It's like, just. As soon as he, as soon as he started talking to me, I was like, you can hear. It. It's so funny because I watched the street. I rewatched some of the matches on the stream to see, like, if I could, would have changed anything I did. But. I was just listening, I was like, oh my god, this is hilarious. I was like, I can't, like, my guy had me just cracking. We're in the finals, and this dude's just, like, making me laugh. Just saw like, that. This, this is so cool. I was like... So, yeah, you both are walking with a three Admiral playset. You're probably both getting a serial Luffy. It was chill. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, I appreciate it. I was say, I'm kind of sad he didn't get second place, so you could have got the seven Warlord playmat. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's Treasure Cup only, isn't it? Yeah, that's Treasure Cup, oh, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, random player who we don't know the name of. If you happen to be watching this, that shout out was for you. That's that's all yeah. you, my man. <laughs> oh, hey, it was Luffy versus Dofi in the top two. That's sick. Yeah, we're yeah, ready to get OPO one. <laughs> yeah, it was it was dope for sure. I was just happy it wasn't another white beard, so I was like, cool. Hey, man. I'm, was... I'm also glad the red deck that made it to the top was Luffy. So that's sick, man. Part of me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted Luffy to win, but <laughs> the Luffy player in me, man, I don't, you know, that's that, that's that, we, we ride and yeah. die together, but. Yeah, yeah, I had to, I had, I had to be the, I was you trying so hard to, to be, trying so hard to be the first Dofi, uh, because I'm pretty no. sure that was the, that's the first time Dofi's won regional, I think, I in think the so. world. I think in it, I think, I know it's the first time in NA, I don't know about too much about overseas, because I don't really. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think Dofi ever won over there either. No, say most of the sun is top of flagship. Oh yeah, wow! It's got a lot of oh stuff. wow! You're the so wow. If that's true, then you're the first. That's crazy. That's so on this yeah. channel. We've had the first Dofi, Garp, and Sakazuki, <laughs> <laughs> and Dogura Law. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a great. Yeah, pick. Okay, so that was a nice little. Okay, well then, um, yeah. yeah, I wanted Luffy to take it, but you know, you made it up. <laughs> You came on Pretty the channel, made it up to me, so it's it's, it's all forgiven. But uh, 
Right. Any more uh, uh, online or offline regionals coming up that you'll be heading to? Um, I have one next weekend. I'm going to Knoxville. I'm going to Tulsa. And I think I have another online. I forget which one it is, but there's another online that's the week after next. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I have I have a oh, few. Yeah. So you're out there. Are you gonna keep on yeah, the train, ride the waves, or are you gonna roll the dice again? I think, no, I, I think I might. I'll probably have I'll probably have fun for one or two of them, but I think the yeah, next I one I think I might, I think I might be teams. running Dopey again. Yeah, that, I, I feel like now it's like maybe I'll maybe I'll play even better now that I'm just like not nervous. Like, like okay, I'm just I'm just yeah, here to do it. Done have it. fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, I, well, yeah, I can do it. Anybody can do it. So hey, <laughs> everyone but but Dopey's running Centimaru sounds like. But okay. All right. Do man, you like that, brother? All right. Well, he got he got his top sixteen. He's he's Girl. he's he's chilling. Hey, oh, no. there's a there's a blue croc player healing it. He topped. I'm pretty sure he topped yesterday, and he topped on uh he topped the day of the regional too. I feel like there's just like one guy just carrying blue croc right now. I really do. <laughs> he's killing it. I'm telling yeah. you, he's killing. He's had every time. quite a few times, and I was like, bro, homie's killing it with blue croc. Okay. Well then, I'll. That, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Are you sure you have no more questions, Nick? Cause... Yeah. No, we're good. Okay. All right. Okay. You already did your shout outs. No one else you want to shout out before we close it. <laughs> that's it. That's just. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Again, thank you for coming on, man. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you guys. See ya. Hi. Peace.